Hi everyone, I'm Jim Johnston and welcome to 121 East Gwinnett Street. I cannot tell you how excited I am to have this listing because this is one of my favorite homes in town. It always has been. It's located about midway down Forsyth Park. It is currently a residence. It was built in 1979 and it was a proper 12 room mansion at the time. It is still as beautiful as it was the day it was built. So come inside and take a look. When this home was constructed back in 1879, it was by definition a proper mansion. 12 extremely large scale rooms, grand entranceway, perfect location. It is still grand to this day. It's amazing. This home feels, and it is large, it's 5,200 square feet, but it's actually, it's just, I've never seen a hallway this long before. I've never seen ceilings this tall before on not only the first floor, but the second floor. You've got to come take a look. The proportions are truly grand. So here's what we're dealing with. 12 extremely large scale rooms, all with tall ceilings on both floors in a beautifully grand, wide, 11 foot wide foyer. That makes it suitable for a reception area or continue being a home as well. Either way it's gonna be fine. But the rooms are so large in proportion that they're flawless offices as well and conference rooms. Let's go take a look at them. Let's start with the dining room. Fantastically beautiful, gorgeous dining room. You can see 10 or 12 in here, but guess what else would be fantastic as? A conference room for a law firm. Um, an office for a physician. Very versatile. Again, this can go either way. Fantastic room. So the term you hear me use over and over again is the word grand because I can't think of a better word for this home than grand. Um, the proportion and scale is just fantastic. This is the, a double parlor home. This is the front parlor which the owner currently uses as the living room. This is the second parlor back. It should go from front to back. This is the second room back. And again, think about the scale. Perfect office or living room. Perfect office or den or whatever you want to be. But again, perfect for it's suitable for any need you want to make it, be it residential or business. And it continues right on back into the kitchen. Come take a look. All right, so let me explain the kitchen a little bit. Um, there basically isn't one, but there is. Um, this was added on the back of the house years and years and years ago. A recent kitchen project never got off the ground. So essentially in the kitchen, what you've got is a very tall room, very well lit overlooking the back courtyard. And there's basically nothing here. So if you want to put this as a residence, then you can build this out any way you want to, custom for your specs. But if you're a professional firm and you don't want a kitchen, there's very little money involved in converting this to regular usable office space. Just remove the sink, remove the stove, get everything out of here, and the space is all yours. All right, so we're not going to take you through every room in the house just because for the sake of time, there are too many rooms. But what I did want to show you is one of the bedrooms. All right, this is a typical bedroom in the house. They're all about the size, if not larger. Uh, again, very tall ceilings, 13 foot ceilings in here with medallions for chandeliers. But I want to show you, not only do you have room for a bed in here, but the desk that the owner happens to have in here, which is a very large desk actually, really shows you the scale of this room. This is plenty of room in here to be an office or a bedroom. All right, this house has not one, but two stairwells. And that second stairwell is not as grand as the other one, but it's very utilitarian. Great for accessing the two floors with boxes, food, whatever, that your guests won't see. Uh, the second floor continues to be the same scale as down below. Uh, 11 foot wide foyer, uh, excuse me, second floor hallway, which is fantastic. And you've got five more rooms, all of them very large. Two more bathrooms upstairs. And again, grand, 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 bedrooms or offices. Come see these, you won't believe how big they are. Now, I can't call this the master bedroom because quite frankly, it's smaller than the other bedrooms, but it's what the owner currently uses as her master. But I wanted to show you the functionality that's built into the house back in the 1800s. Uh, there's a door that takes you into a beautiful balcony off to the side, a beautiful fireplace, uh, and it opens right up into the next room, which you could use again as a sitting room or office. The house also includes two beautiful side porches that are in great condition. Great for eating lunch when the weather turns nice. Uh, you can access them through four different doors on both floors. Okay, so everyone asked me about parking. Is there room for parking? I think the answer is yes, there is plenty of it. Behind the house, there's a brand new fence you can take down. Um, you can probably take down the garage as well. I don't think it has much historical significance. The lot's about 60 feet wide. If I've done my math right, you should be able to get 12 cars back here if you park in tandem, which is great. Parking is king in Savannah. So as a recap, this home was built in 1879. It's grand in scale, 
stately in proportions. It's located at the intersection of Gwinnett and Abercorn Streets, right behind the mansion on Forsyth Park, which is arguably the nicest hotel in town. It's 5,200 square feet, two stories tall, 12 rooms, 13 feet, 13 foot tall ceilings on the first floor, same on the second floor as well. Three bathrooms, two stairwells, a partially finished basement with eight foot tall ceilings, great for storing records. This is certainly worth taking a look at. Don't let it slip through your fingers. For more information or to schedule a showing, contact us on the screen that follows or call your favorite realtor.